Jonathan here at Colfax Math. Today I'm going to go over fractional measurement. It is an essential skill for any trade, shop, or manufacturing facility. Here in the U.S. we use a standard system, so knowing fractional measurement and building fluency is essential. I'll go over all of it today, how to read a tape, and more importantly, how to build fluency so you read the tape quickly. <laughs> On a All right, let's start right here. A lot of different styles of tape measures. Um, this is kind of your standard framers tape. These are sixteenths of an inch on both sides and all the way the length of the tape. This little tape right here um, is thirty seconds for the first foot, and then it goes to sixteenth. This tape right here actually has them written out for you. Uh, it has an eighth written out. Um, but you need to read a tape and, and these don't actually work that well. The other thing I like to use too is a ruler that has clear lines or a steel ruler in the wood shop. So step one is really to count how many lines there are in a single inch and figure out what your units are. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half inch. So every unit here is the 16th inch. And it doesn't matter what tape you're looking at. You're also looking at the length of the lines. It's kind of the same in all of them. So let's break this down on a piece of paper. So here I have a piece of paper. I think I drew this out to 10 inches long. I found the exact middle and that's a half. So your one inch units, the full units is the longest line. Then your half inch marks are gonna be a little bit shorter than that. You cut that in half to get your quarter inch marks. So this line is shorter than this. So here's one quarter, this would be two quarters. And then this would be three quarters, right, with a common denominator. Now I'm going to take that one quarter and cut that in half. The way I cut that in half is I double a bottom number, right? So this is now one eighth. This would be the same as two eighths. This would be three eighths. This would be four eighths. This would be your five eighths six eighths, seven eighths, and then to a full inch, eight eighths. I'm gonna cut those in half again. Those are gonna be the shortest lines on the rule, so it's just a small line. So I'm gonna cut one eighth in half to get one sixteenth. This would be two sixteenths, or as a reduced fraction, one eighth, three sixteenths. One quarter would be four sixteenths, this would be 5 sixteenths, 6 sixteenths, 7 sixteenths. One half would be the same as 8 sixteenths, 9 sixteenths, 10 sixteenths, 11 sixteenths, 12 sixteenths. This would be 13 sixteenths, 14 and 15 and then one is the equivalent of 16 sixteenths. So that's how you break a ruler down. Okay, if you wanna to get to fluency and fractional measurement, you gotta just practice it a lot. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna line that up to a certain mark, like right there. Now you call out the measurement and then I'll say it. So I'll give you a second to say it and then I'll say two and one eighth. This is an eighth because it's one, two marks after the two or two sixteenths, which is one eighth. All right, try this one. Three and a half, that one. Four and a quarter, that one. Three and 15 sixteenths. It's one mark before four, so it's a sixteenth less than four. Let's try this one. One and 13 sixteenths. It's the shortest line, so I know it's gonna be a sixteenth. And it's one, two, three before the end. Or I know this is three quarters, right? 12 sixteenths, 13 sixteenths. Try a couple more here. Four and five sixteenths. Four and seven eighths five and a half, 
6 and 3 16 3 and 5 8 hopefully you're saying those out loud and getting them right the other thing I have is I came up with these fractional playing cards right here called measurement toolbox and these work the exact same way um, they're really designed to build fluency in fractions you could get a deck of these at measurementtoolbox.com and you could play games with them uh, any game you play with a regular deck of cards you could play with these so that's another way to build fluency i will reiterate again um, fractional fluency and measurement is key to any one of the trades if you want to work in a shop if you want to work in a manufacturing facility so hopefully that video helped you um, and i would just keep practicing I'll, I'll run through some more and you could just let these go and just call them out as soon as you see them and, and do this as often as you can so let's do a few more here three and a half five and one eighth six and seven eighths seven and one sixteenth two and seven sixteenths seven and nine sixteenths eight and a half nine and an eighth nine and seven sixteenths six and a quarter five and an eighth all right well i sure hope that helps thank you for watching this is colfax math if you like this video hit like i'd like to hear your comments below if you got any other ideas on better ways to learn fractions, I'd like to hear them. Thank you for watching.